that someone would come to a school and take things that, that kids really need. A local teacher heartbroken after a thief steals the iPads her special needs students depend on and knew at 6 o'clock tonight. 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky reveals why the school thinks this was not random. Those kids were targeted. Touch the bird that is below the nest. The students at Hope Elementary use iPads every day. To them, it's, ooh, I'm playing a game, but to us, it's you're learning how to count. You're learning how to identify letters and numbers. The iPads are especially important for the kids in Jennifer Bannock's classroom because they're special needs students. So it was heartbreaking when Jennifer arrived this morning to find someone had stolen them. We were devastated and shocked and so sad because we use these iPads throughout the entire school day. These are crucial for our students. Nothing else was touched, so Jennifer believes they were targeted by someone who knew what they were looking for and who it would affect. We really trust in the people that are in and out of our classrooms and I mean, it's a horrible feeling it's that somebody would take advantage. I want for these kids in particular, these iPads aren't just about learning a few words or seeing a few pictures. These iPads help them learn to communicate with other people. We have kids that are nonverbal. They don't speak. And so the iPad is their voice, and now the voice is gone. Until administrators can find a way to replace the iPads, Hope Elementary hopes their community will help. If anyone's out there and has an iPad that's collecting dust, that would be great. We would really appreciate that. In Carlsbad, Jeff Lasky, 10 News. That school does have security cameras. They're going to be looking at that video. They also have the serial numbers of the iPad, so they're hoping that will help track down the thief as well. And, of course, we learned about this break-in from a 10 News viewer. If you have a story that you would like us to check out, email us at tips at 10news.com.